The Gospel of Mary Magdalene is a non-canonical Christian religious text discovered in 1896 in a 5th-century papyrus codex written in Sahidic Coptic. The codex is missing six manuscript pages at the beginning of the document, and four manuscript pages in the middle, so the narrative begins in the middle of a scene, leaving the setting and circumstances unclear. The beginning of the narrative is believed to refer to the appearance of the Savior after the resurrection due to references to the Savior's death and the subsequent commission scene. Although the work is popularly named the Gospel of Mary or Gospel of Mary Magdalene, some scholars do not classify it as such since they restrict the term Gospel to texts centered primarily on the account of the teachings and or activities of Jesus during his adult life. The Codex, which is in Berlin, was acquired in Cairo by the German diplomat Karl Reinhardt. The Gospel of Mary is an early Christian text deemed unorthodox by the men who shaped the nascent Catholic Church, was excluded from the canon, and was subsequently erased from the history of Christianity along with most narratives that demonstrated women's contributions to the early Christian movement. Gospel of Mary Magdalene, The Rest of the Path, Of the Right Measure, Of Time, Of the Century, I rest in silence. Once this had happened, Mary remained silent, as if the Savior had spoken to her up to this point. Then Andrew says, Brothers, what do you think of what has been said? Because I, for my part, do not believe that the Savior spoke this since he seemed not to agree with his thoughts. Peter says, But was it that, when the Lord asked these questions, he was going to speak to a woman in secret and in secret so that we would all hear? Was he going to want to present her as more worthy than us? From Savior? Levi says to Peter, You always have anger on your side, and right now you are arguing with the woman by confronting her. If the Savior has judged her worthy of her, who are you to despise her? In any case, upon seeing her, he loved her without a doubt. Let us rather be ashamed and clothed with the perfect man, let us fulfill what commanded us. Let us preach the gospel without restricting or legislating, as the Savior said. When Levi had finished these words, he left and began to preach the gospel according to Mary. Source, the Apocryphal Gospels. Pages 1-6 are missing Gospel of Mary Berlin Coptic Fragment Words of Jesus Matter and the World 7. Then, will matter be destroyed or not? The Savior said, All natures, all productions, and all creatures are involved with each other and will dissolve again into their own root, for the nature of matter is dissolved in that which belongs only to its nature. Whoever has ears to listen, let him listen. Matter and sin Peter said to him, Since you have explained everything to us, explain this to us also, what is the sin of the world? The Saviour said, There is no sin, yet you commit sin when you practice the works of the nature of adultery called sin. For this reason, goodness came among you, towards what is proper to all nature, to restore it to its roots. He continued further and said, This is why you get sick and die since eight. You practice what leads you astray. May you can understand understand. The matter engendered a passion lacking similarity since it proceeded from an act against nature. Then, a disorder occurs throughout the body. For this reason, I told you, be in harmony with nature, and if you are not in harmony, you are in harmony with the various similarities of nature. Whoever has ears to listen, let him listen. Last precepts after saying all this, the blessed one said goodbye to all of them, saying, Peace be with you, may my peace arise among you. Be careful that no one leads you astray by saying, Here it is, here it is, for the Son of Man is within you, follow him. Those who seek it will find it. Go and proclaim the gospel of the kingdom. 9. Do not impose more precepts than those that I have established for you, and do not make any law, like the legislator, so that you will not be bound by it. With that, he departed. Intermediate they, however, were saddened and wept bitterly, saying, How shall we go to the Gentiles and preach the gospel of the kingdom of the Son of Man? If they have not considered him, how will they have any consideration for us? Then Miriam stood up, greeted them all, and said to his brothers, 
do not weep and do not grieve, do not hesitate any longer, for His grace will descend upon you all and protect you. But let us praise His greatness, for He has prepared us and made us men. Having said this, Miriam turned his heart to good, and they began to comment on the Saviour's words. 10. Peter said, Miriam, sister, we know that the Saviour valued you more than other women. Give us an account of the words of the Saviour that you remember, that you know when we do not, that we have not heard. Miriam said, What is hidden from you, I will tell you. Then he began the following story, words of Mary Magdalene vision of Mary I, he said, saw the Lord in a vision, and I said to him, Lord, today I have seen you in a vision. He responded, saying, Blessed are you because you were not disturbed when you saw me because where the intellect is, there is the treasure. I said to him, Lord, now, does he who sees the vision see it in soul or in spirit? The Saviour answered and said, he sees it neither in soul nor in spirit, but it is the intellect that is in their midst that sees the vision, and it is he who. Gap, pages 11 to 14 are missing. The Ascension of the Soul. 15, to him, and lust said, I have not seen you go down, and now I see you go up. Why do you lie if you belong to me? The soul responded by saying, I have seen you, but you have not seen me nor recognized me because of the clothing, which was yours, and you did not recognize me. Having said this, departed with great joy and immediately fell into the hands of the third power, the so-called ignorance. She questioned the soul, saying, Where are you going? You are bound in evil. Since you are dominated, do not judge. The soul said, Why do you judge me if I have not judged you? I have been dominated but I have not dominated. I have not been recognized, but I have known that the universe is being dissolved in earthly things. 16. In heavenly things. Once the soul had surpassed the third power, it continued to ascend and saw the fourth power, that of seven forms. The first form is darkness, the second is concupiscence, the third is ignorance, the fourth is deathly envy, the fifth is the kingdom of the flesh the sixth is the crazy intelligence of the flesh, the seventh is irascible wisdom. These are the seven powers of anger, which ask the soul, where do you come from, murderer? Where are you going, owner of the space? The soul responded by saying, that which binds me has been killed, and that which holds me has been annihilated, and my lust has dissipated, and my ignorance has perished. I have been precipitated into a world. 17. From a world and into an image from a heavenly image. The ligature of oblivion lasts a moment. From now on, I will reach the rest of time, Kairos, of time, Kronos, and the rest of eternity in silence. Epilogue. Mary Magdalene, Revealer of Jesus. After saying all this, Miriam remained silent since the Savior had spoken with her up to this point. Then Andrew spoke and said to the brothers, Say what you think about what he said. I, for one, do not believe that the Saviour said these things. These doctrines are bizarre. Peter responded by speaking on the same topics and questioning them about the Saviour, has he spoken to a woman without our knowing it, and not manifestly, so that we should all turn and listen to her? Is it that he preferred her to us? 18 Then Miriam began to cry and said to Peter, Peter, my brother, what do you think? Do you suppose that I have reflected these things for myself or that I lie about the Saviour? Then Levi spoke and said to Peter, Peter, you are always impulsive. Now, I see you exercising against a woman as if she were an adversary. However, if the Saviour made her worthy, who are you to reject her? The Saviour knows her perfectly, so He loves her more than us. Rather, let us be ashamed and put on the perfect man, and let us go forth as He commanded us, and let us preach the gospel, establishing no other precept or law apart from what the Saviour said. After 19. Levi had said these words, and they set out to announce and preach.